So I made a video showing how to do an idle up switch for your Tyrannus and um, Clean Flight 1.10 slightly broke uh, the procedure I described. So I'm going to do another quick video showing you how to do it under Clean Flight 1.10. And the, what I did in the previous video was uh, I went to the inputs and I had you set up two inputs, one for when the switch the arming switch was up and one for when the arming switch was down. Now, I've got that on my arming switch. I do switch arming. If you do stick arming, you could easily just put that on some other switch that you're going to use to activate or deactivate idle up. I'm just using the same switch I use for arming. And the issue with that, so if you've got it on some other switch, then you're going to arm with the stick, right? However you do it. I don't stick arm. Which way is arming? I don't know. <laughs> you're going to arm. And then once you're flying, you're going to activate the idle up switch. Okay, not a problem. But if you do like I do and you put the idle up on your arm switch so it arms and it idles up at the same time, under Clean Flight 1.10 it'll refuse to arm. And the reason for that is that it won't arm if the throttle is not idle. It's not below min check. So uh, I guess in Clean Flight 1.9 that check happened in the opposite order. First it would arm and then the idle up would happen. In Clean Flight 1.10, uh, for whatever reason, it, it will not arm if you put idle up on the arming switch because it thinks the throttle is not idle. Well, it's right, the throttle is not idle. So here's how to deal with that. The first thing to do is to go into the logical switches screen and you're gonna set up a logical switch, L1, and, and this is your arming switch, okay? So, and this is the armed position and you're going to put a delay of 0 0.2 seconds in there. Um, doesn't have to be. You could you could fiddle with different values, but it has to have a little bit of delay. 0 0.1 is the minimum the Tyrannus supports. So if you watch, it'll go bold when the line goes true. And as I arm, you see there's just the tiniest amount of delay, 0 0.2 seconds to be exact, between when that line goes true and when the switch is flipped. So then the next thing to do is in your input screen, oh, there it was, in your input screen, you've got the normal input line for your throttle, which is tied to the disarm switch position. And then you've got the idle up line with the diff curve. You can see here, diff 12, that's, that's how high your idle level is. The higher that number is, the higher your idle throttle is gonna be. And you can see that that is tied to switch L1 instead of tied to the arming switch. So what happens is I flip the arming switch, two tenths of a second later, L1 goes true and this line uh, takes effect. So watch. So you can see that two tenths of a second after I flip the switch, the idle up goes active. And that allows Clean Flight to arm the copter before the throttle goes off idle. Okay, so that's how you do it. Hope that's helpful. And as always, happy flying.